Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Rufus and Bob Orr. It was recently revealed the legislature spent more than $10.5 million on outside legal funds to defend laws they had passed. Why would they have to spend so much out on outside lawyers? Isn't it the job of the attorney general to defend them? We're going to once again have a Democrat as attorney general and a Republican-controlled legislature. Can we expect more of the same in the coming years, Rufus? Well, we discussed that in the, the main program last week. And I, again, will uh, adhere to my belief that there are some inherent common law principles that Attorney General has in North Carolina. Uh, in fact, I was running for governor, too, and I, I got whacked a couple times for doing what I thought was right. Uh, and I, I don't see any conflict. Uh, I think it's been excessively used by the legislature to get outside counsel. And uh, that's because we continually <clears throat> have controversies we shouldn't have if we would do the things we're supposed to do, like get an independent redistricting commission. Okay. So, uh, it, and some of it has to do with the fact that the legislature, particularly over the last five years, which is when this $10.5 million was spent, uh, had a fairly aggressive social agenda. Well, it, it was different for North Carolina, yeah. as I said uh, on the last week's program. Uh, the, the Republicans carried out what they said they would do and is very, very conservative. And uh, if that's what they ran on, that's what that's the people got. Bob, your take on uh, all of this so far as the attorney general and the, the lawsuits? Well, I really think this is an important issue, not just for the state, but the, but the legal community. And I, I would almost recommend that the state bar or the state bar association uh, take a look at how an attorney general uh, should deal with deciding to either represent the state or not represent the state, particularly if the attorney general is a candidate for another office. And while I think it's unfortunate that the legislature has ended up, you know, spending all this money on outside attorneys, sometimes it's been justified. But I, but I think uh, the dilemma is you've got a Democrat attorney general, we've had a Democrat attorney general, and he hires the staff. So the confidence of those in the legislature, the Republicans in the legislature, about, you know, am I really going to get a lawyer who believes, you know, in, in the cause that we're litigating, you know, has been hurt by the political uh, well, let me Let me just, let's, let's drill down on that for a second. Sure. You, you're an attorney. You've represented people before. Haven't you represented people you didn't like uh, and had to go to court with people in, in cases that you didn't particularly care for <laughs> as an attorney? I mean, what's the difference but, between but, that and the attorney general's office representing a law, uh, defending a law they don't like? Well, I always had the choice, and the client had the choice. If they didn't want to hire me for whatever reason or I didn't want to work for them, we had that choice. Here we have, it's, it's a government relationship, and the, the law says that the attorney general in his office will represent the state in all litigation. And so the question is, can the attorney general, no matter who it is, pick and choose which of those laws he or she might want to defend? And, and I think that's a legitimate issue and a legitimate question. Well, Rufus, going back to your being attorney general before, were you ever in a situation where you went to the legislature when they were considering a law and said, folks, this is just plain unconstitutional, oh, and I want you um, to know that, and I will not defend it? On several occasions. One time I remember uh, where there was a question about the, the legislators dominating the Advisory Budget Commission, which, as we know, is, is an executive agency. And I gave a ruling, and it infuriated Billy Watkins. It infuriated him. He said, I'll take your car away from you. And I thought, well, I can find a car somewhere. <laughs> and uh, I, I still maintain that the Attorney General is, is an officer of the court. Uh, it may be bad times. I, I know this, that in, in my office, there wasn't a, an attorney that I ever set loose to defend a state uh, issue that they didn't totally, totally believe in. And uh, I, I know that, that Roy Cooper has on many occasions sent his lawyers to defend things that he did disagree with. Most of the times, he has recused himself from representing the General Assembly when he thought that it was not going to be a, a successful appeal on cases. Interesting. 
Well, thank you for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.